Welcome to Valheim, my name is Niels and this is another episode and we're going to start on day 445 and what are we going to start with? Ah oh, man, we're going to start with a nice mushroom omelette and then we're going to be eating some uh, honey glazed chicken and then have a side of salad on top of that. Mmm, that's nice. Well, uh, in order for us to be eating so well with all with the honey glazed uh, chicken and on top of that a mushroom omelette on top then we are going to need a steady supply of chickens and of eggs and that's what we're going to be focusing on today this glorious build that looks weird i can see that uh, definitely it looks weird but i try to make it as simple as possible to serve the purpose of having like an infinite uh, egg spawner and infinite uh, meat chicken meat spawner so that's uh, that's what i'm going to be showing you how to build how it works why it works and uh, probably also a bit of tinkering with just making it fine tuning it a little bit more so if you like these kind of videos uh, showcasing uh, cool designs then uh, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing also note that i'm streaming this on twitch so come on over to twitch tv slash nilaus and uh, join in on the exploration of mist mistlands and uh, building cool things as well now, this is just a glorious amount of, uh, of eggs. It's a couple of days worth, so it's, it's pretty damn cool. So I will be first explaining in sort of conceptual terms how it works, and then we're going to be going into details on uh, how to build it and uh, the sort of the small tricks that are needed in order to get it to work. And I try to make it as simple as possible uh, because, well, I do like my design simple as possible and not too elaborate. So the idea is that we have two different builds. This one is making eggs. This one will make chicken meat. meat. And uh, they are slightly different, but they I want to make them look as close as possible to each other. Now, what you need to do is you need to have two hens up here. Uh, in this weird case, we have a polyamorous uh, relationship here. So we have three eggs, and that is a very modern thing. Uh, and it works just fine. It works actually better than fine because they are actually uh, uh, just producing a little more than, than usual. And what we have here is we have some uh, feeding, some feed that is uh, carrot seeds that we're feeding them. The idea is that you have two chickens or hens and they are in a confined space so that when they are happy and uh, get the little hearts, then they will be producing eggs and the eggs will uh, then be popping out the back, both of the chickens and also of, uh, of the build. And they will do fall down on the chute and slide down here. Now, why do I slide it down here? Well, the thing is, the chickens will not will stop breeding if there are too many close by. And then it comes up, what is too many? What is close by? Too many, I believe that's 12, and close by is within 10 meters. So basically, the chickens, when they get these uh, little hearts, the little uh, love making, then they will check, are there... It's actually only every third check that um, that they actually spawn an egg. Or can spawn an egg, and if they want, if they're in a position where they can spawn an egg, they will check are there more than twelve within ten meters, and if there are, then don't do anything. If not, then you can spawn an egg, and this is why you can do this in two ways. You can either do a shoot like this, so that you sort of slide them away, and they're now more than ten meters away, and therefore they keep spawning more eggs, or you can uh, just let it be really high up so that it falls down, um, and then you can pick it up at the bottom. Uh, this is another important thing is that when eggs are warm, they will be uh, warm and covered, they will be hatching. If they are not covered and not um, and not warm, then they will just stay as egg forever and ever and ever. So these eggs are just ready to pick up and we can always use them. Uh, they won't sort of start hatching because of the way that we build them. But you can hear it's, it's pretty noisy out here. It would be nice if we could see one just pop down and we slide down the slide here. That would be really lovely. Alas, that is not the case. Uh, so this is going to be the egg maker. It's a lot more simple and I'm going to be showing you a bit, a bit more in detail about how it's going to be made. But the essence is that you have two up here. You're going to have to feed them once in a while. When you, uh, when you f feed them, they'll be going to be lasting for, I don't know, like, like maybe a month of in-game time. Um, and then you just don't have to do anything except come pick up the eggs uh, after that. So let's go into how you build this because it is a little bit tricky, but it's also... Uh, not that bad. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to be making it pretty close to the other one. So I am going to... The way I'm going to do it is I am going to build it first up. You don't need to do that. It depends on uh, how it is. In my case, because of the size of the city block, the fact that I have a slope here, it just makes sense to go up here and then slide it, slide it down. But uh, you can make your own design that fits for you. Then we are going to make 
two of these uh, two by two plates. There we go. And you know, you don't have to, but let's make it a little support so it uh, it's not red up here. Now at this point, we are going to just make these blocks around the edge, like so. And uh, also here and here. This is just to sort of keep them inside of this area. That's not a good location. And we build these around the edges. There we go. Then I'm also making one here in the middle because that just makes it easier for us to uh, to get it going. And you can you can you choose to do this. Wow, did I just still miss that up? Yeah, I did. And yeah. All right. It did not delete the right one. There we go. That's the one I want to delete. There we go. And let's probably delete it. That. Yes. All right. So now we have uh, two little spaces here. And this is where we're going to be putting the eggs. So we picked up two eggs. And uh, they split the stacks. And now I need to hit it inside as much in the middle of this, uh, this tile here as possible. It's not super simple. So I am just think that I'm going to stand here on the top floor. Or the top step and then send it in. Is that okay? Well, it's ca it was actually perfect. Damn it. Uh, let's try again. That is perfect. You don't want it to be too far out into the side because if it's too out, too far out into the sides, then there's a chance that when it hatches, it'll be uh, pushed out into uh, yeah, in, pushed out of this little block because it just kind of thinks that it's colliding with the the with the walls so this i'm happy with what i'm uh, then going to need to do is make sure that they stay warm and that they stay uh, uh, covered because otherwise they don't hatch but i also want to make sure that they don't run away if uh, if we get to that point so we make this one and when they hatch we can take out the middle one if we want to now we need to make sure that uh, three things are the case they need to be covered, they need to be warm, they need to be not in smoke. Very important with the last one as well. Uh, they can't. They don't like it if they're in smoke, and if they are in smoke, they won't actually complain about it, they'll just not hatch. Uh, so I'm going to make this roof the other way. And that means we now have a nice cover here, and then that's where we can then make the, this. If you make it out here, then it's actually going to rain down on it, so we're going to make it right there. So that is now under this roof. And the roof will make sure that it goes away and doesn't get uh, get smoke poisoning. Now, at this point, is it working? It does say still too cold, even though it does have heat. And that's because it's not covered. So as soon as it gets covered, then uh, magically it will stop being too cold. There we go. Now it's covered. You don't need the ones inside. I just did it because it's awesome. Uh, there we go. Egg warm, egg warm. So at this point, now the eggs, 30 minutes later, without any interruption, they will turn into... Uh, uh, turn into chickens however if you turn off the if you do anything that interrupts you take this uh, down and you get it back up you remove the uh, the fireplace and put it down again the 30 minutes will restart so keep that in mind don't restart it and then the next part is about feeding them so when they get into chicks nothing happened they don't need anything and then when they, then 50 minutes later they become hens and the hens need food so let's grab some food and then uh, show how you feed them efficiently. Okay, so here we are with the, the chickens here and we need to feed them. And in order to feed them, I tried with barley and I can't get barley to hit the right place because they actually need to be, they can't eat if the food is in the same place. You can see they're sort of picking for what they wanted stuff to be right here, not anywhere else. And that's going to be the tricky part. So I am going to... Stand here on the second highest step of the stair and just holding right mouse to sort of align it towards where I want to hit. And then I'm going to be throwing this in. That looks brilliant. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side over here. And 24 in each of these. Does that look good? I think it looks good. We can then say 24, 24. We can come back a bit later. When they just spawn, they will be. Uh, They'll be hungry, and then they will start eating immediately. At this point, they were happy, so they won't, will only start eating when sort of the next time is up. So this uh, should work. Uh, we'll keep in keep this uh, in check just to see if it works, and uh, then we'll now they will then just continue, and they'll just be spawn 
eggs forever and ever and ever until this runs out, the fire runs out, or I don't know what else condition. Well, the food runs out and the fire runs out. Uh, then another thing to mention is that since you might be in the late game, you can get the bats, the stir the cauldron interaction, and that will spawn bats in your base. I've had that happen twice, and the bats were just fluttering around this. They never were able to hurt the hens. And since I can just be standing here and do that, as long as I don't, as long as I remember to repair between my uh, spinny spinny, then it's all good. I won't hurt the chickens, but I will hurt the bats. So you can sort of get them away by coming up here and do a spin attack with whatever weapon you have, and then uh, grab them away. So uh, this is also, I'm not going to say it's like 100% sure against the bats, but I've had two bat attacks that uh, didn't kill any of the chickens. So that's pretty good because they're so blocked in. And here we are on the second build. The second build here is uh, a little more complicated, but it works in the exact same principle. So you still have two chickens up here or two hens up here. They get the food right in front of them and they will then pop out the eggs here. The eggs will go down a chute, go down another chute, and then end up here. The reason why they don't drop straight down is not because of the, in, the structural integrity of the eggs, it's because the eggs have to be under a roof. That's why this roof is up. Oh, look at that, look at that. We are already seeing them pop. Um, that This means that they are down here, and then they will be down here, and then you can see a million eggs down there that will be just gradually uh, uh, completing and then we'll be filling up here with hens and chickens and uh, hopefully ideally they will then uh, after a while they'll start pushing up here and then they will go into uh, into the heat this heat is also the heat i, I put a brazier right here brazier brazier oh whoa they are very dead see ideally you don't want the chickens to go out but ultimately it doesn't really matter they'll uh, they'll they'll get all of it. I know chickens don't really give as much uh, resources as the hens do and uh, they will just fill up in here and the idea is that they fill up and then sort of start pushing away the other ones. Uh, a bit of a location, a way that it could be done. Uh, you can see here that there are generally more hens over here and more chickens back here and that should sort of push them this way forward and then they'll start. Uh, they'll, they'll start going out here into the flames and the flames will then they think they can come out but they can't they will die as they walk over this and then you can just come back and pick up stuff i have a few more that i've picked up uh, over the uh, while i was waiting for this but that uh, just basically completes it in uh, in this sense we can stand here and just watch some more get uh, get turned into crispy crispy chicken actually not well there we go they also can die from smoke if they get too close as well so Oh no, this uh, works really well. Just over time, they, uh, yeah, they turn into food. There we go. Mmm, nice chicken meat. So with that, though, you now have these two builds, and those two builds will generate a stupid amount of eggs and a pretty decent amount of uh, of, of chicken meat, and as well. Uh, the thing is, like, when the chickens get burned instead of the hens, then they are less likely to. They don't always drop a full uh, chicken breast, but they do sometimes. Uh, I'm sure you can do your own optimization on sort of uh, making sure that it's uh, more likely that it's the hens and not the chickens that uh, get uh, get get blown up here. But that is uh, basically the design. It works uh, quite well and uh, it means that I can now eat my mushroom omelets and uh, the honey glazed just pretty much all the time. And then if you then use only like one thing like so the hair meat, that's, uh, that's the... Uh, last of the items if you want double food uh, double health and one stamina food or if you want double stamina then single health for example in building then i recommend the salad as the third food and that basically takes care of the late game food for us uh, with this build so i hope you enjoyed it if you uh, if you're interested in if you have questions for it then come into the live stream and uh, we can i can walk through the design and the details and we can see how uh, how it works if you have ideas for improvements then please share them on my discord that's uh, that's a pretty good place where lots of people are sharing cool designs for Valheim. So with that, thank you very much for working, for for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, and if you like all the work that got went into this, then uh, be sure to hit the like button. And it really means a lot to me, especially with these kind of uh, Valheim videos that are not sort of necessarily by default the most popular videos on my channel. So uh, until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.